Hey guys, it's Dorian. Before I get on to what I'm going to show you today, I just want to remind everyone I just opened up my new Twitter account. It's at Dorian.slash. Just posting what I do, random articles, uh, links to my videos and whatnot. So if you spend more time on Twitter than YouTube, go check it out. Anyways, today I'm going to show you how to use screen and why you would want to use it. Um, it's really good for remote administration which I'm going to get to in a second and um, it's easy to install like anything else it's in the repos you don't have to do anything special just sudo apt install screen boom it's done so now this is on my local machine here but I have another window open and this is SSH'd into my little server that I have downstairs now there are some tasks that take quite a bit of time to do and if you're remoted into it well you might have to close your terminal that you're using and that basically closes everything that you have running in that terminal what screen does is it basically opens a terminal within the terminal if you can wrap your head around that so I'm just going to start up screen now uh, remember I'm remoted into my server right now and it's blah 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 this license is yada yada so now I'm in my server in screen so what can I do all the commands of screen start with control A so if I do control A question mark you get all your key bindings which is pretty awesome you get split kill info uh, detach is one you're going to use a lot when you see the up arrow that means control so everything is going to be control A and then one of these commands. So control A, control D will detach. Control A and S, capital S, will uh, do a split. And there's also another one, it's uh, using the pipe, uh, will do a horizontal split, which I'll show you. So let's say, um, I have a few things that I want to monitor while I'm working here. So let's say HTOP. All right, so I want to keep an eye on this stuff. So I can make my terminal pretty big. And granted, your text isn't going to be as big, so you'll be able to see more. But just for the purpose of the video, I made it big. Um, and then you want to do, um, there's something else you want to monitor. So let's do uh, Control A, Control C, which is create. Now this creates a new screen within the screen. So now here I can say um, I want to watch disk space for some reason. So now this is going to show me real-time disk space that gets updated every two seconds. Now if I do Control A, Control N for next, it goes back to what I was doing before. Control A, Control N, back. Kind of like when you do all Control F1, F2, F3. Now the cool thing is, you could do control A pipe and split it horizontally. So now I can, uh, and if you want to switch, it's control A tab. Now if you could see the little cursor here, flashing. So control A tab, and it's flashing in the bottom corner here. So control A tab, so I'm now in this window, sorry, this window on the right. And now I can do Control A, Control N to go next, right? Because now I can scroll through in each window. Um, so now if I could do Control A, Control A next, Control A tab. All right, now I'm back in this window here on the left. And I'm going to do Control A and capital S. Sometimes you lose track of what's going on, where you are. Okay, so now I've split this um, vertically, or split it horizontally, however you want to look at it. And I can do Control A tab, and now I'm down here, and I could do Control A, Control C to create a third terminal within the screen. So now I can go um, do 
other things down here. This is kind of like how Terminator, which I'm using right now, can split your window into multiple other little terminals all at once. Now the cool thing about this is I'm doing some super long command. Um, what can I actually do? I'm, I'm not going to do anything. Let's just say for for the sake of it, <clears throat> I am updating my repository mirror. It's going to take a very long time and then I got to do something. I got to close my terminal. I got to do whatever. Now the detach command, which is right here, um, will let you detach from screen. So screen will continue running on the server, but it's going to disconnect you. So let's just do control A, control D. Now I'm out, right? Um, there are commands. If you do screen ls, it'll tell you there's a screen on here. Because you can have multiple screens. You can share screens. Um, if you do screen dash r, it's going to reattach you into what you were in before. You lose your little uh, your little setup that you did with your split screens, but if I do control A N, all those windows that I had open are still open. So, you know, I have to re-split up uh, my windows again, but as you can see, it's not really that hard to do. Tab into here, and then here, and tab into here, and there we go, we're back to where we were before, and everything stayed running. In fact, I can even exit from the server, because my server is still running, close my terminal, shut off my computer, because it's still running on um, my server. It's not running on my machine here. So if I do screen R again, I'm back, and I still have the windows open. So if you're doing something really long, you can um, do your screen commands, and um, and then you're going to detach and leave everything running. And now once you exit, it's going to exit each screen that you have open one at a time. And now this is the last one, right? If I do Control A, Control N, there's no other window, as it says in the bottom right corner there. So I'm going to stop this, and once I exit this, screen is terminating because I've exited all my screens. And uh, that's it. That's all I really wanted to show you. Um, hope you find it handy if you do a lot of remote stuff. Even on your own PC, you can... Well, no, you can't really because you have to leave the terminal open that's running screen, but you understand my point. Anyways, um, hope you find it useful. Uh, check out my new Twitter. I only have six followers. I need more. I don't need more, but, you know, it's it's cool to be followed now, I guess. And having a new Twitter account is hard. I forgot how hard it was. Anyways, um, that's about it. So I'll see you next time.